to see the guys battle. Uh, it was a long game. It was a hard-fought game. But to come out on top and see the way your guys played today, how proud are you? Yeah, it was it was a, a tremendous effort from our guys. And um, having a, a good road trip going, coming into the game, and uh, winning the first three games of this series, stepping out on the field and feeling the heat, literally. Um, it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to, to do anything out there. And our guys continued to score, uh, put more runs on the board. The guys pitched well. The guys played pretty well in the field. I mean, it was, a, it was a very challenging day all the way around. And the efforts that our guys gave, they were admirable. What did you see from Martin? Uh, I thought Martin threw the ball well. I thought his stuff was really good again. Uh, a couple starts in a row now of, uh, you know, that, that upper level velo and, uh, and you know the the good sharp cutter at times. He threw some good change ups too. I think he uh, he was uh, you know I thought the command was was pretty good. Um, I thought it, you know it, it came and went. I think uh, there were a couple of times later on as the innings went on where uh, you know kind of lost exactly what he was doing, but he pulled it back together and, and figured it out, which was very nice. Um, overall, I thought it was a, a very good effort. Again, in not the easiest of, of conditions, you can get worn out very, very easily out there tonight. And he went out there and gave us, uh, you know, put us into the middle of the game and, and gave us a good chance to win. The swing innings, the eighth. It looked early like you might have a huge inning. Then all of a sudden, now you got two outs and you got Jorge up. How much does that help a team's emotion when a guy like that comes through in the clutch? Yeah, absolutely huge. Uh, it was um, game changing at bat. Um, you know, he he kind of left no doubt that you know it's not wasn't a funny play or a funny hop or something going. On. He just had a good at bat, put a great swing on the ball, uh, drove it into the gap, and let everyone kind of do their thing, uh, marching around the bases. And it was it was a very nice way to to take the lead. Um, definitely swung, uh, you know, the energy I think in our favor and, and kind of picked everybody up, um, and and put us in a great spot again. Any update on Max? Uh, Max is going to be fine. Max uh, was dealing with the heat like everybody else, and uh, I think it kind of hit him there in the middle of the game. Um, you know, I'll, I'll let him speak to the specifics, but uh, I think he's coming out of it well. I think he's feeling pretty good. I think he's going to be uh, he's going to be fine going forward. Much more impressive is that hit by Polanco, given that Clase is out there throwing cutters at 100. Yeah, and you know, the, when you see some some things in person, you know, sometimes you get really impressed, and that. That young man over there um, has a terrific arm, and it's not just the the velocity, which is at the absolute top of the scale uh, at the major league level. It's um, he he cuts the ball and gives you a really challenging, unique look. Usually, left-handers have a have a very difficult time uh, against him, and um, he gets you know doesn't not many barrels uh, against him, especially against the lefties. So, for us to you know, have multiple good at bats. Uh, guys um, square the ball up, drive it around the field a little bit, and then Polo come up with with two outs and get it done like that was uh, was tremendous. Uh, not those are those are not easy at bats. None of them.